Hey, I'm Alex from Bedbugs, and I'm going to be chatting with Shab on her bed. Rolling. Rolling. Why the name Bedbugs? Oh god. Um, well, uh, I guess we started the band like almost a year ago now, and we wrote, uh, like, we, we had a different name, and it kind of started as a joke. Um, and Kevin and I were just doing it for fun, and, uh, and then, like, we wrote the song Bed Bugs, mm -hmm. uh, and after that we were just kind of like, oh, well, like, we, we were thinking of different names, because the, the name that we had was, like, a joke name, and, uh, and so we started, like, thinking of different name ideas, and we were like, well, we have this song called Bed Bugs, and, like, that would be kind of a kick-ass name, like, mm -hmm. um, because it kind of reminds me of, like, the Beatles, or, like, you know, stuff like that, where it's, mm -hmm. like, short one-word names, <laughs> and, uh, and we stuck with it because, um, we, we also, we also, you know, it's a metaphor for, uh, I don't know, like, I, I sleep a lot, um, and Kevin sleeps a lot, and, uh, <laughs> I know, I know Kenzo loves his sleep, so it's just like, I don't know, it's, it's nice, you know, people, people, a lot of the time, like, I met someone from New York the other night at yeah. our show who was like, oh, wow, yeah, I'm from New York, so, like, that talk of bed bugs scares me, and I'm like, you know, I've never, like, I, like being from California, I've you never, really like, think about bed bugs. yeah, so. exactly, yeah, but, I never thought of it as, like, the actual bug. I thought of it as more of, like, I don't know, dealing with your problems by sleeping through them. Hmm. You know? That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Um, the new stuff is, um, leaving the garage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're, we're recording, um, we're recording a new single, uh, I think we start, like, later this month. Um, like right after my birthday, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll be super exciting. Um, we're recording with uh, with Jake from Honey, and so I'm excited about that. Um, but it's a uh, yeah. I mean, he he kind of approached us in a way where he's like, hey, like I want to you know see what we can do to make you guys like step away from the lo-fi thing if you guys are down. Yeah. And so it's like I don't know. I think I think we should kind of take it to the next level and see how. Uh, things would sound not like more produced, but just done better. Right. You know, you and you can still keep the same sound. Well, yeah, and it's not like that's gonna disappear. Yeah. It's it's more it's more about quality. Um, if you go back to like, I don't know, like one of your earlier projects. Sure. What would you say? What would you tell younger Alex? You tell younger Alex, yeah. like if I could go back and talk to eighteen year old Alex, yeah. I would tell him to not worry so much about being punk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to be honest with you, I was like when I was like 18, 19, I was listening to like a lot of punk rock and yeah. like if if I feel like if even if you play punk rock and like I don't even really consider Bedbugs a punk band or anything like mm -hmm. that because we're not, but even if you're like in that mindset of like growing up listening to punk and like you know identifying with punk, I feel like it's really important to know that like the best punk bands out there don't even listen to punk. <laughs> they don't. Like it's it's I mean I feel like the best the best bands listen to the stuff that's that's like musically like like I guess pushing boundaries, you know. Mm -hmm. And like if you listen to a record like Pet Sounds like and I, I hate to be Pet Sounds guy, you know, but if you listen to that record like there's like over 60 studio musicians on that record and like the instrumentation is just unbelievable and it's like it's just, you know, stuff like that where it's like you can take a step back and like hear everything for what it is and you know it's not just a guitar bass and drums mm -hmm. you know you've got so much more going on and i feel like if like if i could go back in time i would tell myself to like branch out and listen mm -hmm. to more stuff yeah you know and like not be afraid to to get into stuff that you know uh that your friends talk shit about right you know right just like to, just like, get into music for you yeah. yeah yeah it's interesting so like before you were like I am punk, so therefore I must listen to just punk. Yeah, ex well, exactly. Yeah, and and it's I mean, there's there's other stuff that I would that I would tell myself too. You know, like <laughs> don't worry so much about what people think. Yeah. You know, because no matter you know everyone's a critic. Yeah. You know, but you but, can't please everyone. Yeah, well, everyone's a critic, but they're not going to get up and do the same thing you're doing. So mm -hmm. like, fuck them anyway. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> yeah. it's really like I don't know. I I I've that's one thing that like I've been getting a lot better at is is not worrying too much about when when someone doesn't like your band, you know, because mm. it's like, it's not going to be for everybody. Right. You know, right. nobody likes everything. And right. so, I don't know, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's important to kind of consider the source. Yeah. You know? Also just like, remove yourself kind of. Yeah, like, sure. Yeah. 
And in a way where, like, I mean, similar to me, like, when I put on shows, like, I used to get, like, really bothered when, like, my friends didn't come. But then I yep. had to realize, like, maybe they don't like the bands playing, or, like, maybe this is just not their scene, and, like, that doesn't mean that there or, are lots of effects. Or maybe they're tired of being invited to your shows all the time, right, you know, yes. like, that, that happens to me, because I've been in bands since <laughs> yeah. high school, you know, and so yeah. it's, like... I've been in band since I was 17, and so it's like now I'm almost 23, and I'm sure like most of my old friends are just like, dude, I'm not gonna go to your show anymore. Again. Like, it's been so long, like like of you inviting me to your shows, and it's like, hey, dude, whatever. Like I'll I'll make new friends. You know? Yeah. I'll, I'll and and that's kind of what's been interesting about Bedbugs too is like since we started Bedbugs, mm -hmm. like I've met so many people. Like you're one of them. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I don't know. It's it's cool. It's cool because music is something that brings everyone together and music is something that everyone can relate to. Yeah. And so when you have all of these different people that you've never met before, like you're gonna talk to them at some point. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're if they're there to, to, to watch even, you know, your mm -hmm. friend's band or something, mm -hmm. they'll see you guys and if they relate to it, they're gonna approach you or you'll approach them to talk yeah. about something or whatever. And it's 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 really cool socially. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. yeah. Socially, yeah. yeah. Music is a cool place to be. Yeah, and like I was at a point where like when I was in a long distance relationship where I pretty much just like hung out with Kevin. <laughs> you know, oh. <laughs> and, and it was it was cool though because yeah. like it, it enabled us to like like we totally hold ourselves up and just wrote music like for that first mm -hmm. EP we wrote probably like fifteen songs. Oh wow! At least and and then, you narrowed and then we narrowed it down to six. Oh, wow. Yeah, and That's it was just cool. like we had so many songs and and it was just because we literally just hung out all the time and, and <laughs> played played guitar. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so I mean I feel like that's kind of what it takes. Like I read a. I read uh, an AMA on Reddit with Jeff Rosenstock from mm -hmm. Bomb the Music Industry, mm -hmm. and someone asked him, like, you know, do you have any advice for an aspiring musician? And he's like, uh, yes, uh, but more warnings than advice. <laughs> he's like, you will lose all of your friends <laughs> if you want to get good at what you do. He's like, you're going to lose your friends. It just happens. You know, you're going to sit around and play guitar all day, and your friends are going to get really tired of you. Um, you know, and it's like, you're going to do that, and then, you know, people will get tired of coming to your shows, you know, and just all of this stuff, and I was, and, and the thing about, like, like, losing all of your friends because you're just so focused on your craft, you know, I, like, I totally related to that because I went through a zone where I wasn't really seeing a lot of people, mm -hmm. and, like, ever since Bedbugs, like, started doing more shows and right. stuff, it's, like, I've, I've gotten back into, like, being social and, like, hanging out with people, and it's right, nice, you know, right. it's, like, it's That's nice to kind of... like, like, progress, or, like, uh, like process of like where you have to like seclude yourself in order to like kind of hone in on your own like whatever emotions and like yeah well yeah create and your art and then there's a second part of like being in a band where you have to be social and you have exactly. to like, throw yourself yeah. out there and go well, to shows and like be at play shows you know yeah and like Kevin hates social media <laughs> and he just doesn't even use it like I'm sure you've noticed there's just no social media presence of Kevin yeah which I think is kind of tight <laughs> uh, because, like, it's just not his thing, you know, yeah. he's like, he's like, hey, like, I like talking to people, but he's like, I don't like social media, like, he has a Facebook, yeah. and that's, that's it, you know, and he, he has an Instagram that he posts on, like, every six weeks or so, and that's pretty much it, whereas, like, I, I'm much more active on yeah. social media, and Kenzo is too, Yeah. but it's like, I don't know, I think, uh, I think the social media aspect is a lot different, too, just because I, I hate it, but it's, like, one of those things that's, like, a necessary evil, mm -hmm. you know? I know. And I feel like, like, Facebook is the devil. Facebook is the devil. Facebook is the devil.